It doesn't matter. Line them up. Uh, to get to where we got to go, we want to beat the best, and you've got to beat the best. So uh, whoever it is, wherever it is, we're ready for this run. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. What's good with y'all? How y'all feeling, man? Y'all feeling good? I'm feeling great. I'm excited about this week. First of all, this rivalry runs deep. For somebody my age, and CFT not as young as some of y'all might think, Cowboys vs. Niners is the rivalry. I, I, I dislike Washington. I dislike New York. And I don't like the Eagles. But the Niners, when I was growing up, was the team I hated the most. Because our battles came in the playoffs. Real beef. Real consequences. You know, we always dominated the East. And always will dominate the East. So that's not special. We swept them this year. It's not no big deal. It is what it is. It's happenstance. That's what we do. But now, see, Niners versus Cowboys run deep. You could just put Niners versus Cowboys in your YouTube search and see the history. It comes up. It ain't that hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Both franchises got five chips. The Niners have had more playoff success than us recently. Fine. Before anybody get in the comments and get excited. Fact of the matter is, in 2021 playoffs, Cowboys vs. Niners is reborn. We about to get it jumping. And I'm ready. Listen, if you scared of the Niners, go to church. Say a prayer. I ain't the one. I ain't shook. I ain't afraid of the 49ers. That ain't saying I don't respect the 49ers. Great team. Physical team. Get it out the mud. Gutter. Respect. We get it out the mud too. I don't know if everybody forgot, but our defense ain't no joke. Our offensive line is legit. We got Hall of Famers on our line too. I know y'all got Trent Williams. We got Ty Smith. And trust me, it's something about knowing that one of your contemporaries, somebody that's on your levels, playing on the other side, you think Ty Smith ain't going to show up this week? You're lying to yourself. We got Zach Martin. Yeah, that offensive line is going to come to play. Don't get it twisted. Our defensive line, who's also getting downplayed again, just like I like it, they going to come to play. I've been hearing people bigging up Bosa. You know what I'm saying? Bigging up the rest of the, the, the 49ers D-line. Um, DeForest Buckner. I get it. They great. They're amazing. Pro bowlers. All pros. Cool. We got D-Law. We got Randy Gregory. We got Neville Gallimore. Yeah, I'm dropping them names with them other dudes. Don't care. That's how I'm feeling. We want all the smoke this week. Notice I ain't blinking. Because I ain't playing. This the week I've been talking. Yo, I've been talking spicy and reckless since the summer. Actually, since I started this channel. If you're new here, get familiar. Hit subscribe. Check it out. This is how I give it up. Ain't a shook bone in my body. Yes, we haven't won every game I said we was going to win. But we also have done something this year that a lot of people ain't see us doing. Because I don't care what nobody say. I remember the summer. Nobody seen 12 and 5. A lot of people didn't. I don't care. You just didn't. There's a whole lot of Dallas and goals finished third in the East going on. In the media, on Twitter. Some people had us finishing fourth. Like they really was disrespecting us. Now that the reality is starting to set in, it's like, okay, Dallas is good. But when you won't get here, the goalposts has moved 15 times this year. And that's fine. Let's just focus on this week's goalpost. Can we beat the 49ers? Absolutely. Better team than them. Across the board. Head coach, Mike McCarthy is undefeated against um, Kyle Shanahan. That's a fact. This isn't a myth. We beat them last year. And we both have backup quarterbacks before anybody say something. Better on defense. Yes. Yes. We're allowing less points a game than the 49ers. The vaunted 49ers defense. Our defense. 
That's a fact. Better scoring offense. Number one in the league. Yards and points. That's Dallas. And that thing that y'all want to hang their hat on? Well, what you going to do with the 49ers rush offense? Newsflash, people. We run the ball, too. Yeah. Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott are real. Y'all going to get real familiar real soon, San Fran. That's right. Because y'all averaging 127 yards a game rushing, and we're averaging 122 yards a game rushing, if I'm not mistaken. Five yards difference. Five yards difference. Yeah. You're not about to tell me that y'all leaps and bounds above us in rushing when there's a five-yard difference per game. Nah. Now listen, San Fran is to be respected. Debo Samuel's legit. Kittle's legit. Bosa's legit. Buckner's legit. Jimmy G.I. I. I. I, you, I, but with giving respect, I need to receive respect because my team legit too. Dak Prescott is legit. Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard, legit. C.D. Lamb, legit. I raise you, your Debo Samuel, and present to you C.D. Lamb. Yeah, I said it. Amari Cooper is legit. Cedric Wilson is legit. Yeah, we go that deep. Yeah, that's right. That's how I'm feeling. I told you about our offensive line. But on defense, let's not trip. Like I said, we have the better defense. Demarcus Lawrence, legit. Randy Gregory, legit. Neville Gallimore, legit. Odigi Zua, legit. Tristan Hill, legit. Micah Parsons is going to be the best athlete on the field on Sunday. Y'all don't have a Micah Parsons. Y'all got a Fred Warner, but he ain't Micah Parsons. Yes, I said it. The most versatile player in the league right now. Can play at every level of defense. Probably can play offense. Micah Parsons. We have the best DB on the field. We have a couple of the best DBs on the field. Because y'all secondary is sweet. Y'all can't name me nobody. And y'all better not say um, Josh Norman. Trayvon Diggs. Best DB that's going to be on the field. Anthony Brown. Kelvin Joseph. Malik Hooker. Jerron Curse. Casey. Yeah, our defense is like that this year. I could drop names like that. But it's cool. I want y'all, like the media is doing, and I can see it happening. The media's sleep already. Y'all stay asleep. Y'all think the Cowboys is sweet. I want the media to say we trash all week. I want all the scary Cowboys fans to go cower behind the, the, the loud 49ers fans. Go be scared. I'm front line with it. That's what I do. I've done this every week, all year. Every fan base. I ain't afraid of none of y'all. Not one of y'all. So I don't know what the Niners nickname is, Niners Nation, whatever y'all are. I'm not afraid of y'all. Do y'all worse. I'm just telling you the facts. If you think that we sweet, that we ain't going to come out there and punch y'all in the mouth. Keep sleeping. Keep sleeping. I've been waiting for this all year. You think I'm going to wait till wild card weekend to get scary? Talking about, well, they're a bad matchup for the Cowboys. According to our fan base, a lot of y'all, everybody's a bad matchup. Newsflash, it's the playoffs. Every team got strengths. Well, maybe not Philly. But every team got strengths. But every team got weaknesses. Question is, can the 49ers fight left-handed? Because when we shut that run down, what y'all going to do? See, if y'all was so unbeatable, y'all wouldn't be 10-7. and seven. And don't do the whole thing, well, the last 10 games, no, no. We talking about y'all body of work, y'all resume. Y'all 10-7. and seven. Y'all been beaten this year. I think y'all got swept by the Seahawks, who been treated to dash. Y'all been swept by the Cardinals. Y'all are not unbeatable. So don't come in here acting like y'all are. Like I said, man, what Dak say? 
the real shit starts now, it do. It's time to go out there, put in work, and show everybody that the Cowboys is for real and you can keep sleeping. I'll holler.